I've uh, got the inserts now glued inside the camera. Now I know it's very hard to see um, at the moment. Um, I've temporarily just put the face plate on here with a bit of tape. Um, I've got the shutter closed and I've got a little bit of a, um, I've got a 4 by 5 inch uh, piece of photographic paper loaded into the cartridge. So this is basically my, my little initial uh, test here. So I'm just going to test this to the tripod at the top here and we're going to, uh, we're going to shoot our first photo with the pinhole. Our very first photo, hopefully it'll come out. Now being paper of course is a little bit more uh, less sensitive than the film so I'm going to probably shoot this for about five minutes, uh, I guess around about a five minute exposure, just to make sure we've got something on the paper. And uh, we'll see what happens after that. One last step here that we're going to do before this uh, front goes on. We're going to silicon just inside this framework here, make sure there's no light leaks coming into the front panel. After that, we'll glue the front panel on, make sure that's all set, and then we'll do the finishing of the whole camera. Right here, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I've decided to make up um, two guides for the shutter slide here uh, because the the guide here is just a little bit too sloppy for my liking. So I've made up a very thin three ply. Now this stuff you can buy in hobby shops as well. Very thin, usually used for you know making model planes and that sort of thing. So. Um, you only want something thin here, I mean you can use thicker three ply if you like, doesn't really matter. And um, have these uh, parallel along the, the guide there. I'm going to glue those in and there will be a nice little secure glide for the, uh, the guide for the slide there. Alright, it's all finished, all in place now. 
got a guide on the front panel it's much better doesn't slop around anywhere and now we're ready to glue the front panel on